You got it. All there right. My name is Trey Quintero. I'm here with Eldar Basic. Mm-hmm. And this is going to be the first Rumble Pack interview. Someone outside the team of Rumble Pack, I, I guess you could say. Yeah, definitely. Sure. And so what we're going to cover tonight is going to be a little bit of E3, uh, a little bit of comics, a little bit of tech, all that good stuff. So Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a mixed bag of just about everything. Just a mixed bag of goodies. Yes. So I'd say first off, we're going to do the intro, obviously. Yeah. It's called the intro. So we're going to do that. Right, we're going to do that. Okay. Um, well, as I said, my name is Eldar Basic. Uh, I've been an avid gamer for, God, ever since, I, w- I would say ever since I was four years old and I got my first Sega Genesis with, and I'm not going to lie. You're doing the Sonic? No. No. Power Rangers? Nope. What were you doing? Mickey Mania. Oh, wow. You oh, know, wow. So I played that. And, oh, wow. Um, you know, that's where I started off. I remember that game. So that was not a bad game. Huh? It's not a bad game. Not at all. It was good but uh, the second game that I like to actually tell people that's my first game was Sonic the Hedgehog Uno. You had to. It was just... Just uh, Green Hill Zone. I mean, when, I got was... on Grill, when I got on Green Hill Zone, I I mean, that was a revolution for me. Yeah. Um, and then after that, I started playing a lot of RPGs. That was kind of my thing. I was never really a shooter guy, but um, I kind of got... I'm sorry. Where did, where did RPG start for you? What Legend of Dragoon on PlayStation oh my One. God, it, it's probably you know you know it's one of those RPGs where you remember crucial details about it. Yeah. That you in modern RPGs you kind of forget. Right. You right. know, I played exactly. Final Fantasy Thirteen and completely I don't if you were to ask me something about the game I, I couldn't tell you. The Legend of Dragoon was just it was amazing. Like going back, I, I recently played it because I, I kept mine, and uh, it's so cheesy. It does not. It is so all. terrible. It's so terrible. The but green dragon in the very beginning yeah. looks like a piece. He's of like a celery. praying mantis. <laughs> it looks like terrible. Mutant. But that, you know, back then, you know. I mean, you're a kid, so that's going to imprint itself. Oh yeah. So heavily oh, yeah. on you. Something else though. Never liked Final Fantasy VII. I was Thank all about you. Final Fantasy. I'm going to get a fist bump. Everyone I know everyone loves that game. Ever, everyone has such a boner for that game, and I'm not really <laughs> sure why. It's pretty terrible. They look like Legos, and... I, yeah. Terrible, like, you know, MIDI music. MIDI mu- Props to Advent Children for having such that revolutionary so CG work. So good. I, that's why I feel like but, 7, because, as everyone knows, Final Fantasies don't carry long in story. Right, right. They're all different. Kind of break I feel like up. 7 specifically would have been a good... Uh, Comic or a good graphic novel or something else. I don't think it could have should have been a video game. I don't. I don't think so. Either. I think that's what Advent Children I mean, kind of proved. Respect to the game though. If they made a remake with updated visuals and music, I would play the absolute probably out of it because probably of Advent Children really. and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, uh, RPGs. Um, my favorite RPG ever to have ever existed. Um, Dark Cloud Two. Okay. Not a lot of people have played that, I, and I understand. Uh, it's called Dark Chronicle. Two in Japan. Um, I think I recently, I, I think today, I was talking to someone and I said if they ever come out with the Dark Cloud Three, I don't care where I was, I would probably just take shit <laughs> right there. So that that's basically it. Um, I I I, I, get re- I got into the gaming scene at fifteen. Uh, me and my friend, we started off. We made a couple gaming communities. Uh, most failed, but one one was actually really good. It was it was called uh, the Ravage Gaming Community, and uh, our me- like at at its peak, it had about a thousand one hundred forty something members in it. Wow! It was nice. It was back when the Xbox first kind of came out in yeah. two thousand five, two thousand six, where party chat was non-existent yet. Right, if you right. could believe that. So that was fun, man. We used to get so many people playing That's Halo cool. Three. It was fun. That's it very fun. cool. Yeah. And uh, I just I just kind of just kept up with it. With gaming as a whole, yeah, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm amazed. It's hard at, not to. It's at, really the technologies. For me, it's the technology in the business. I like to keep up with, like oh, the yeah. fiscal years, the numbers, and the technology. Um, yeah, it's just amazing to see how far everything's come. You know, yeah, from Castlevania on PS One yeah. to what we have now, um, unbelievable, unbelievable. But yeah, that's uh, that's basically my gaming life in a nutshell. Start okay. off at a young age, like most people do, you know. Uh, Nintendo 64 was... GoldenEye, Banjo-Kazooie. Oh Banjo-Kazooie. Ban- not Zelda. Banjo-Tooie. I wasn't, I wasn't a Banjo-Tooie guy. Neither, man. I did Banjo. Although, Nuts and Bolts. Do you like that one? Buy it. Really? It's pretty cool. 
I'm gonna get the demo later. You, so my friend has it, and I kind of gave him credit for it. I was like, No, no, you need to try it because you get to like make your own vehicles out of out of uh, puzzle pieces. Oh, God, it's great! Wow, love that game. So yeah, um, these trains sure. suck. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for these trains that I know you guys can hear right now, but that, suck it up. We gotta get we gotta get our nutrition and our crops to people. That's that's it. I hate trains. I hate too. They're, they're not even functional in today's world. Um, although I gotta say I don't really play a lot of RPGs anymore. I really yeah. don't. Uh, they're so time consuming for Yeah. You know, as a game as compared to like a, a shooter or anything else you can pick up. Nowadays with what with all the kind of games we have, I became a jack of all trades, master of none kind of thing. I just play everything I get in my hands. Right now I'm playing Forza two. Yeah. yeah. That was that's got a few years on it. Uh, 2005 or something like Forza's that? Forza's great. I love Forza. Oh, God, I know. I need to get so Forza good. 4, though. So. Three, 3 was great, and 4 is great. I have no problem with I, like any of them. So. Definitely. Definitely. So, speaking of cars, um, I know it's not game-related. I did want to ask you uh, mm-hmm. about Team Icon. Right, all right. That's uh, it, it, It's a starting uh, car photography firm that I'm doing. Okay. And uh, the main premise of that is... Um, I find what we do is I find local, I find local models, and we go to. Um, main, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Mainly older gentlemen who have retirement money, yeah. and we take pictures of their cars for profit. That's really cool. And actually, it's, it's kind of it, it's more of just a business thing. It's not really community. Um, although, I mean, it's just it's just fun. You know, yeah, you get, it's you get to meet a lot of people, so it's definitely cool. These this this one guy, man, he had the weirdest. Weirdest stories about how he got his. He had a he had a Carrera nine eleven okay or something uh, nine eleven and uh, yellow and he, apparently he stole it. I don't think I've seen a yellow one before. Looks good. Well, I think I think it was aftermarket paint too because it was kind of a it had a silver like sparkle sheen to okay, it. Okay, yeah. And uh, they don't. You're Porsches, not find that. Porsches, Porsches, Porsche do matte a matte finish. Right. So I think he did that. But yeah, you get to see a lot of cool cars too, which I That's like. That's very cool. Yeah. Definitely. I've seen a uh, I've seen some models. I've seen. Um, models against artwork, which is also really cool. What do you mean? Uh, you had a you had a model against. Uh, or was that just a friend of yours? That was well, because actually, it looks yeah. really well done. Either way, that was on my iPhone. Either way, we were just in Deep Ellum once. That is one of my models, but uh, yeah, we were just in Deep Ellum. Yeah, and I just took that picture. It was cool. Yeah, I like that. So, but yeah, that's that. If you want to check it out, uh, Team Icon Talent after the Facebook, and I'll Simple definitely uh, put a link in for that so people can check that out. Appreciate that. All right, so you want to go ahead and jump into the the E3? Yeah, man. All right, E3 was a couple of weeks ago, but you know we'll never finish talking about E3 because until it is the, the next E3. Yeah, exactly. That's, you gonna try going to one eventually? Because I mean they sell out in eleven minutes. Eventually, I heard they were cut off to the press. Or, I'm sorry, not the press. Cut off to the public. And they they are now. The as of, I think as of two thousand. I think as of E3 2010, they yeah, stopped. Yeah, I'd love to go to one. I know. I figured I'd have a better chance getting into Comic Con or something, but. Yeah, and that's local too. Yeah, it's right there. I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think there's a Dallas. Dallas yeah, Dallas one. Yeah, but yeah, E3 this year probably one of the better E3s. In my opinion, I think it was the best E3 since the 2003 E3 where they yeah. announced Twilight Princess and amazing because I can't GameCube stuff. It's been the longest time since I've been impressed by an E3. E3, you know which one was terrible? Oh eight, where they had nothing. Yeah, <laughs> the driest year in gaming. That's when like, what was coming out. Yeah, I can't even. I can't even think Terrible. of it. Nothing, nothing was going on that year, at all. So this year, let's start. Let's go ahead and start off with Xbox. That's my favorite. Okay, I'm an Xbox fan. Boy. Unfortunately, I'm sure if you've seen the press conference, you weren't exactly. I was. Ex- you weren't very thrilled about it. No, I was not. Um, I I do think that uh, smart glass has potential as a technology, uh-huh. but right now where they're at and where there's I no way they could do it on our current current generation systems though. Not. A, I, I mean, do you disagree? Um, I, I think don't we're gonna agree to, or disagree. I think we're gonna have to. I think I think it'd be better if we saw it on a uh, next generation. Yes, release. but we're not gonna see unfortunately one for a while. But I think uh, as a as a technology, it it does have potential to, you know, uh, create a greater immersion to the media that you're you know taking part in. I'm true that. But at the moment, and I don't, I don't see this changing. I feel like it's going to be just talk. I don't really That's, feel like they're going to apply well, this. I think to I think out of all three of the um, gaming major gaming corporations, 
Microsoft is the least talk, most action. I think they, they when they say they're coming out with a major update for their dashboard, they do. You know, they don't they don't pull things back. Yeah, they usually just jump on stuff. They, I mean, when they first uh, announced Natal, they they expected that to come out in 2013. Uh, like, that's when we'll that. be done with this. And no, it came out what two years ago? Yeah. So well, maybe about a year ago. Um, but yeah, as far as the uh, Microsoft press conference goes, there was no thrill. There was no surprise. Uh, everything they mentioned was almost a revamp of something we've already seen. Uh, while Halo 4 looks amazing, it really does. I, I mean, it I looks cannot, incredible. I cannot wait for that. Um, Gears of War Judgment does not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I feel like I'm starting to I'm starting to see too much of that particular Gears of War universe. The colors, the, the yeah. characters. I just I don't want I don't want any more Baird or Cole. Like you can you can look at at a, a color scheme mm-hmm. and, and instantly you think Gears of War. It might do. not be modeled, and it's like, usually brown, red, and black. Yeah, with flame somewhere. It, it might not have anything to do with gears on the screen, but mm-hmm. that's what you'll think. Exactly. Exactly. They have they just have this very grim. Looking world, um, and I'm not. I mean, I don't know. Are you excited for Judgment? I'm not. It's just I, I need to get through just war. to play through because I loved two. Two was amazing. Two was great. Me. Two was great, and it, it it brought a lot of new multiplayer aspects to Gears of War, which was cool. Yeah. Uh, that's when I think that's when Horde started. Yeah, that's when exactly. came and that changed in. every game after that. Definitely. There was Firefight in Halo. There was yeah. There was yeah. Horde was definitely the, the pioneer of, stuff. of swarm base. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um. Uh. What, what else? Did, what else did Microsoft uh, announce besides? Um. I don't know, what was that? What was their announcement? They didn't mention anything about next generation console. No. First of all, well, we'll get to the leak later if you want, or we can do it now. Okay. Well, not too long ago, um, official an, an official document was released, not released, but it was leaked to the internet, uh, and it had very serious looking images, specs, and yeah. images, and there was a list of the specs, Xbox and then, uh, 20. artist renderings of what they wanted from right. the console, and, and, and uh, they, they came out with some sort of Spanish name for the new Connect version 2, uh, Fortaleza, I believe, Fortaleza, which is a country in Spain or something like that, if I'm not mistaken, it reminded me of Forza, right, right, they do that, that. Uh, same country where Natal is, that's apparently a place too. And uh, they even showed that uh, what they're going to do for that is that they're going to condense the square. Okay. So it's not as big or, or something like that. And they're going to increase the some sort of sound recognition so you get better sound with it. Okay. So literally it's a Connect V2, which is what I'm thinking that's going to happen in the, in the 720. Um, it's going to have, I think, three to five times more processing power than the Xbox 360 currently does. Which I don't have a problem with the current processing Not at power. all. Although... I really don't. Right now... Uh, right now we couldn't we couldn't support Unreal Three, uh, and Engine Three. I don't think we could. Do you think? In the current gen? Yeah, Cry Engine Three. I don't. Do you think the sim? Do you think the three sixty could support that now? Aren't we using that in in current titles? I don't think so. Wait, Which, do I think I mean Cry four? Engine Four? Four. Yeah, there's not I mean, a chance. No. There you go. If you're gonna say sorry, four, I, got, no. I got confused. Um, and so that's why I think we're gonna need the more processing power. But uh, I think it's all official, and the reason I think it's official is that Microsoft has lawyers preventing them yeah. from spreading anything yeah. else. They took it away. So if I mean, but then again, some some gaming companies strategically put those there. Okay, you know, that's what that's that's what Nintendo did. For How me. do you feel about Connect version two already? I'm not a big fan of Connect uh, personally. Either. Are you? No, not I'm not a, a big fan of it. I, I think I think it has its audience. I think it has its core market, which is families and younger people. And yeah. It's gonna be um, the, the the more active. I'm waiting. I'm uh, yeah it, for the more right, active, we right. fit guys. You know, right. like I'm kind of I'm a couch gamer. Like when I come home, you know, I just got off work. Yeah, I don't know you just got off of out of class or something. I want to sit and not do anything. It, it, it does have it does have its points if you're like a social butterfly and people are in your house all the time, and you're yeah. just. And then that'd be cool. But that's like your party game. That's like exactly. You're exactly. the guy that has parties every weekend. But I think if V2 girls love Connect, girls love they all do. That they love Connect shit. and even Guitar Hero still oh my and God. stuff like that. It's unbelievable. And more interactive stuff. Yeah. But for hardcore Just gamers dance. like you and I, that won't work. No. You know? I feel. I also feel. I mentioned this in, in the podcast that I don't think that the Connect is ready for that because as we've just been saying, there's only you know softcore games for it. Exactly. They're already wanting to 
you know, revamp it and make a second one, you know, what do you what do you think about that? I, I think they're just making a second one because now that the technology allows them to make a second one, more marketing, more branding, more powerful, more a little more powerful. Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get higher definition visuals out of it. Yeah, which is cool. But you know, the major problem of uh, anything connect based, even Wii based, anything like that, motion controlling, you, you eliminate your hardcore market nearly, um, and you completely kill off your competitive crowd. Yeah, which if you there's think, no com- competition. There's, you there. can't compete with Connect. Nothing because you know? too many, too many little technological things go into they do into they that. Do. You, you have the it, calibrating, and then you have it, with first person shooters and fighting games. They it take all that way too out. seriously. It almost comes down to your controller and how it feels. Yeah, the Connect is too loose. If right. You know what I mean? So you can really have any competitive game in that, and the competitive scene in any console is huge. Yeah. So I mean, right now the Wii, all it has competitively going for it is Super Smash Bros., and that's a dead game, right? Completely. So, um, what was some other points on this on the 720? I think it's going to support. I saw the new LED screens. I think it'll. I think it's going to mesh with that. I think it's going to upgrade. I think it's going to upgrade its uh, resolution from like regular 720 to 1080. I think it's going to go up. Really? It's also going to support. Um, what's that 2000 resolution called? God. Oh God! Some TVs are doing it nowadays, but it's going to have support for that. Okay. Like right now, if you try uploading, I mean, if you try playing an Xbox, it's like on, a Retinal display or something. No, I think just a higher resolution. Okay. There's certain TVs if you plug your Xbox in, nothing's going to happen. Really? So that's going. There's a small support there for the richer people. Okay. Um, and I'm just I'm, I'm, what I'm excited for is the new IPs that are going to be announced whenever the 720 comes out. You know. What we got a few new IPs with uh, Xbox 360 and PS3. What did we get this year? Most died though, if you think about it. From remember the launch, Cameo, Condemned, yeah. uh, Heavy Rain. No, he- Heavenly Sword. Sorry, Heavenly Rain. Sword. Those games are dead. Those um, games are dead. The I think, new pro- wasn't Mass Effect a launch title though. No, it Mass wasn't. Effect came out actually in I think 2007. Okay, two years after, in okay. the same year as Halo. It and still looks really shitty. Mass Effect? Mass Effect 1 does. I have not played that for I've been playing it. Does more it look that bad? Now. It's just, it's not that. It doesn't have that sheen. Itself. It's just in comparison if I jump off Battlefield oh, God. and go to. I know, I know. It's like I, a resolution I saw shot. someone play Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2, and that was like a year ago. And side by side, it looks weird. It's just so much EverQuest. motion shadow. It looks like EverQuest. It's so terrible. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, going back to the topic of E3, for the Microsoft press conference. Uh, go on YouTube right now. You'll see that uh, while everyone else had a positive rating of a good seventy percent, Microsoft was the only one with a of sixty six percent negative, and that's because they did not capture the audience in that show. Yeah, they came out uh, with the everything. Guy, the guy they 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 had uh, introduced the uh, smart glass. He just bored me. You know, he's just like you would think that would be something that would like make a librarian get up. Sony's press conference. Sony's was terrible. Let's not. I, I, I want to talk real quick. I want to. I want to get back on the point you said about. I couldn't even tell you what that was about new IPs. Okay. Um, because I honestly feel like when a new tech comes out, a new console, let's say a uh, 3DS, probably would be my prime example. Okay. Uh, when a new hardware, a new tech comes out, the first batch of games are so gimmicky and yeah. terrible. They're made for whatever that console can. And support. so what. When you say you're interested in new IPs for the new tech, what mm-hmm. what do you think the difference is going to be there? Um, based on the way Watch Dogs is going, if that doesn't... I mean, I know currently it's on PC, yeah. and that's what they demoed it on. But uh, if that goes well, hopefully, yeah. that game gets pushed and pushed until and I guess, 720, and then that is, that's going to be an amazing IP. Okay. I can already predict Watch Dogs 2, 3. And like Halo 5 and Halo 6, since 3, 4, 3, are, they're doing their next Yeah, they're going to... Saga. They're, they're probably going to put... Um, they're probably not going to put a Halo with the launch title. Based on the timeline, that's not really going to work. Halo 4 is not even out yet. And then if the 720 comes out even a year or two, yeah. they're not going to have time for another Halo game. They, they come out okay. pretty... pretty. Uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping that it doesn't turn into the, the Call of Duty yearly Oh, the uh, Halo franchise? Yeah. I hope not, too. Because uh, I hope not too. That's just gonna be bad news. Yeah, if they if they if they continue to come out with yeah. Halos, definitely, definitely. I mean, they kind of did that though. If you think about it. Halo Three, and then a year later ODST, and then a year after that Reach and Reach, and then uh, Halo Wars. We don't talk about. <laughs> I didn't mind it so much, but that was pretty. <laughs> I think it was just coincidence. Uh, 
last year that that the uh, anniversary just happened to be a year between titles. What happened to that game? I loved it. I don't play it anymore. But exactly. It just, like, died. Yeah. They were hyping the multiplayer so much. Like, yeah. Check this out, guys. Blood Gulch. Oh, okay. Whatever. Yeah. Who cares? Does, I don't know. Anyway, back on topic. Let's do uh, yeah, I'll, Sony. What, wow. I mean, come on. Did you, did you really not like it? I got, let's say I got 20 minutes into it because I was like, if I'm reporting on this, if I'm giving my piece about this, I need to know about it. Right. I hit play. And on you were just... On YouTube, and there's that, you know, two-hour press conference. Lasted maybe 25 minutes. What, and then, do you remember what they mostly talked about? <sighs> they were trying to push the, the Vita. Vita. Yes. Yes. So the, much. The, the, the Vita. That, um, I think, basically, since that press conference was 80% Vita, I'd like to say that I don't think the Vita is a very good portable gaming system. Really? It is a PSP. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all it is. It's, it's just a PSP brother. with another analog stick. Yeah, sure, they updated the visuals, but, I mean, that's not cause enough to come out with a brand new system. I it's got a weird touchpad thing. When I was touching it, I was like, this feels really, yeah, this is, really this awkward. Yeah, this is awkward. It's strange. Am I undoing a bra? <laughs> or am I... Is it a Rubik's Cube? It was weird. Yeah. Have you felt it? I have, that yeah. strange, have. weird feeling. It's odd because I didn't it know it's going to slip. Yeah, that, that, there is that. And it's like... It, it looks pretty. Okay. It does. Uh, it's a toy. If I had, you know, I wouldn't mind having one. I'm not going to go out, exactly. and work my ass off, and then buy one. Exactly. Not a chance. And um, something in the gaming community that was really hyping the Vita was now we can do first person shooters. What was the first person shooter that came out? Res or Resistance. Yeah. What was it? Liberation. Some some. No, Liberation was PSP subtitle. Some and it was terrible. Yeah. It was so boring. And it didn't really do anything clever. I mean, sure, the Vita's going to sell eventually because they're going to put Call of Duty on it. It's going to be great. Yeah, there's going to be price drops eventually down the road. There's What's it, 250 now? Online support. 400 for the 3G? I think, I think it is... Uh, Unbelievable. It's 250 by itself. And okay. that's what a PS3 costs. Yeah. Right now, which yeah. is ridiculous. I'm well, sure there, actually, from what I have seen, though, there is actually some pretty decent uh, integration between the two consoles. Really? That's what I was going to ask you about because uh, when they announced it, they made <clears> huge promises... About let's say well, every, they always they're all, Sony always does that they always overhype their, right they're I think everyone their really does that but uh, but yeah. they they showed a a guy you know playing Call of Duty or whatever from his PS3 and then just taking and it he picks up his Vita it out and he's, he, he can picks play up his, his Vita and walks out the door and he's still playing like with his friends what I have read though is that that technology is pretty faulty uh, whenever he, whenever you're supposed to transfer it over it crashes surprisingly can't load you Sounds know that terrible. I don't know I don't know why they do that. But as far as it goes, um, the Vita made a lot of very similar mistakes that the uh, PSP made. That memory card. Oh my god. I thought they learned, dude. Wow. I thought wow. they learned. 60 or 80, $60 for a 32 gigabyte That's memory card. That's so terrible. That makes me want to cry. Like, I wonder if when someone hands their card over to pay for the memory card, do they feel like they're getting raped? They, they are. Yeah. They are. Also, hilariously... <laughs> Hilariously uh, close to the subject matter. iPhone five is going to use a new dock. <laughs> a new? Are you serious? Yeah. So so fuck everything you own wow. currently. Made by, yeah. Over like the past eight or so. Everything odd you have years that, that you were I've... excited to put your iPhone five into is nope. Yep. No. Wow. Yeah, they're going from a thirty pin to an to a sixteen. Do you pin know how many third party? Uh, hardware. Yeah, I do. Actually, that's what I'm saying. So like much they, money off my, of this. Apple announced that today. I just pictured Mac, or I just pictured like uh, iLive. Really? Uh, so you can't use your dock. Yeah. All those iPhone cables that you currently have, you Some know, shit. the wall chargers you have, that awesome dock that you spend a good amount of money on. No. I bet. Buy I, something else. I bet that Apple is one of maybe three or four companies that could pull this off and still be financially successful. Exactly. Exactly. There will never be any ramifications for that. But why piss us off? Why, why, why would you... There's no reason to have a new dock. There, but you know there's that, like, that select Apple fanboys that's like, yes, I can't wait to separate myself from these you know, soft core That's Apple true. Users. And most of them actually work at Apple. You know, I mean, if I liked Apple, if I was really into Apple, I'd be pumped to, you know... Hey, I'm not going to lie, most, most of the stuff I own is Apple, but that's kind of a blow. Yeah, that's a little blow. I mean, why would you... There's no reason for that. That's just fucking with us. You know? Yeah. Whatever, though. 
Apple's gonna be dead in 2050. Watch. <laughs> Let's do. Uh, let's get into. We did Sony, or for, or for what we care about Sony. You want to do Nintendo? Yeah, I mean that's all. That's all really Sony had to offer. Yeah, and I don't. I can't really think of anything. Even that wasn't much. So, although I mean, some cool. There's a. There's obviously an amazing game that's coming out on that platform. Yeah, but so, uh, Last more, of Us. More on that in a minute. Okay. Um, on the on Nintendo, that's an interesting one. Most people are hating on the uh, Nintendo press conference, but I actually found it really. As a press conference goes, I found the press conference itself to be well put together. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take one little one little point away from that, and I I'm gonna ask you, when do you think that they'll learn to let the Japanese guy just sit there and demonstrate, and let the American speak English to everyone instead of doing that awkward that translation? That was a mess. I hate like why are we? I don't still know why doing they do that? that. I don't know why, why are we do still that. doing that. It's Sony awkward. Does it it doesn't sound good. It's, you know, I love Miyamoto. I give him a hug mm-hmm. right now if he was in the room. Yeah, but I don't want to hear him talk Japanese. Was Reggie's well, so body ready? Oh my god, oh. and I like Reggie. I don't know why I like Reggie. But I love Reggie. I feel like his body, man. He's just a big ready. awkward like. He's a big awkward bear. Yeah, that's but, about it. Anyway, so let's get into Wii U because oh what, here we go. That what, is something that's. Can I pre-order it yet? I don't know. Can't wait. I don't care. Really? Because, yeah, man. I, I already have three. Give me three titles you're, you're, you're pumped for. Arkham Asylum. Uh, really? You're going to... Because I know you have that. Arkham City. All right, well, yeah, that's a given. Arkham City, sorry. Uh, I know you have that already on something. Mm-hmm. Nintendo Land. So you're really going to... You're going to buy it again just for Wii U? Yeah. Wow. You okay. know why? Just the new yeah. select system? That's enough. Wow, I, a, I don't. You know what? That may be it for me. gimmicky as hell. It was a little bit, <laughs> but that looks awesome. I'm not gonna lie. That looks like fun. I'm gonna put on my bat suit. I guess the new armor. Just, yes. Yeah. I guess that's, I gonna, be, that's that. gonna be pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot I have negative to say about that we you in technically, but uh, okay, it's Arkham City. Um, to Nintendo. Ninten- Nintendo Land because that actually seems like something I'm going to play with my family. I did notice uh it was like the little Samus, uh, the screwball mm-hmm. icon, and then uh, Animal Crossing Leaf. So those are two of my favorites from Nintendo. Those two? Th- those two IPs? Yeah, those are two of my favorites. Okay. I haven't seen a Metroid in years that's worth That's true. Corruption was good. Though. On Wii. But I'm, I still want the side-scroller. I know. It's not going to happen. Never. Nope, we're in, we're in first person land. All right, anyway, before we go off on too much of a tangent. Well, actually, um, after that, Pikmin 3. Yes, that did look good. I too. love Pikmin. A lot of people are excited oh about that. Oh, my God, that. yeah. And it, you know, it, even, it looks just like Pikmin, but it doesn't matter. It's Pikmin 3 yeah. on the Wii U. And the rock Pikmin? Yeah. That was cool. I Definitely. like that. So, as far as technology goes, let's get away from titles. Let's talk about the technology the implications the Wii U. of the technology. But they're, they're, they're behind again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's... I, I don't know if that's like a Nintendo curse, but I think they're... they're uh, All right, Xbox 720, PS... Yeah. Wait, guys, no. Wait, hold on, it's hold on. always... I don't know if that's so much of a curse, or uh, maybe that, that gives them an edge to focus on more quality titles. Maybe. I think, I think that lets them focus on their first-party stuff first. Which everyone has condemned Nintendo for. Yeah. Only having first party, and that's but it's good enough. The DS was straight third party launch, launch titles, and did terrible. And everyone hated it. And then they come out with three D and, now, and they're, now they're doing this. And stuff. then they put out Ocarina of Time, which was ridiculous. Yeah. They already had the game. Now they just put in three, whatever. Um, and now they're even thinking about doing Majora's Mask for the three. I saw the uprise. That looked yeah, good though. It, and they were either going to do our, um, what was it? They were going to do. Uh, they were going to do more Majora's Mask or. What's the other one? Link to the Past. Okay. A lot of people like Majora's Mask more, I guess. I could do Majora's Mask again. It was dark. Probably. He was evil. Yeah. Did you, did you, by the way, off topic, did you ever follow that, like, ARC? ARC? For what? For Majora's Mask? No, I didn't. They did, like, this haunted. No, like, I didn't. I did hear about the Portal 2 one. There's a Portal 2 one? Yeah. I gotta look that up. Yeah, it was. Yeah, uh, they made a really creepy, like, Majora's Mask, and it overtook the internet for, like, oh, that's three weeks. So it was terrifying. Yeah, you need to look up the portal one. That one creeped me out. Was it really? It was. It was good. Okay. You know, it would be like a just a short a short run would be a if you had Steam and you're a big Steam guy mm-hmm. and you had like Half Life, 
Portal, whatever, whatever, Team Fortress, each of their games would do an automatic update on a specific day. That's creepy. And that number correlated to something else that correlated to something else. And it, yeah, that's kind of what the, the that's kind of what the majority of the mass one was like. It's like wow, that blew your mind. the moon. Oh really? Yeah, it was creepy, dude. Holy hell! But the thing is, the guy that did the uh, Majora's Mask one was able to change the polygons of the game. Oh, okay. he made some creepy looking shit. That is creepy. Link's face, like okay. this. Oh my god, it's actually kind of creepy. That is that legit. Pretty creepy. Anyway, where so were we? So let's talk about the tech now. Okay. Of the Wii U okay. as a tablet, I was not sold until that press conference because they went through. And did like the 360 showed everything that's on that tablet. Mm -hmm. It looks comfy. It looks good to like hold in your hand. I disagree with that. I think it, really it's too big. I feel like it's a good a good depth apart, and it's got a a decent amount of real estate for the screen. It's not mark, too big. Mark your words though, man. When you're analoging it up, and you want you want to hit. Well, yeah, that's it's gonna be a little. I think it's gonna be an adjustment. I'll put right. it that way. I think it'll be definitely an adjustment. But uh, as far as the tech goes, again, they're behind. You know, I mean, sure they caught up to the 720 HD generation. Yeah, but you know, right after the right after the gate, Microsoft and Sony are going to leave them in the yeah, in like the we dust just got again. The, we just got 720 specs after. I don't know. Wii's not even released yet. But. but I think they can do wonders with it. Did you see the Did you see that Zelda tech demo? It looked good. Amazing. Then again, it was straight CG. There's not really any gameplay, was there? I don't remember seeing any. They gameplay. they had like gameplay. They showed like a cursor once. Okay. And they were like, this is what it's gonna look like. And, and then, some paint, like some drawing, sketch tab, like, exactly. whatever. So as far as the Wii U goes, um, once again, like, or once again, Nintendo is gonna revolutionize how games are played somehow. <laughs> right. Microsoft and Sony are gonna keep using their controllers, and Nintendo is gonna be using the yeah. tablet. Now, if they made that tablet 3D, how cool would that be? I'd be too much, man. I that would be, I think it'd be too amazing. Busy. I think it'd be too busy, honestly. Oh my God. Too busy? You think because so? Because things you know, just you popping got 3D up here? here, and then you're gonna look at your screen, and then you gotta readjust because you know Nintendo's gonna. Oh, that's use true. Screen, that's yes. true. Yeah, you're right. That wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. Because some, sometimes that gives me hard enough time. Yeah. Finding the sweet spot, but when you do, it's worth it. True. When that. you move to look at something it else, battery though, right? It's not. Battery dies. I mostly, honestly, since it's got a pretty sick set of speakers on it, I just use it for Netflix, really. They have Netflix on that now? <laughs> yeah. Sweet. I just like set it, pop it up and like, you know, on the computer or something. That's not bad. I would do that too if I had one. I used to have a 3DS, but... No. That's... Did you see the the new one? It's like a 3DS XL? No. That just pissed me off. It's like, it's like Already? Done. I'm done with you, Nintendo. Dang. Nintendo and Apple, I swear to God, they're like... Nintendo and Apple. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. I respect Sony for only coming out with one update. They made a skinny one. They're like, all right, yeah, well, that's good enough. It really was good enough. It's the same thing. It just looks. It kinda, just looks better. Yeah, kind of better. Kinda but awesome. um, yeah, I think that I, I definitely think the tech in the Wii U is definitely something to look forward to. I think I think they're gonna do great things to that console. Okay. I don't. I mean, the name change even grew on me. Wii really? U. It just it I just kind of zombie feels, U. It just kind of yeah. I was zombie gonna U. That. Was that looks good. Fantastic. Wow. It looks really good. And uh, I don't know. I just I like that they're doing Arkham City. Although. Um, they could have added more to that, I guess, but they're all, you know they're coming out with the armored edition, which includes everything. I feel like they made too big a deal out of. You, you know what they made too big, big of a deal out of? The fact that they even said that Ninja Gaiden Three was going to be on there. Wow. They were like using that as a hyped up game after it came out and got its three point yeah. rating on IGN. Ninja Gaiden Three was an abomination to the series. <laughs> Purely. I've heard I've heard plenty about you that. You should download the demo and just see how bad it is. It's one of those games where it's so bad it's like almost good but it's not. Yeah, like a Deadly Premonition kind of? No, 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 that game's good. Okay. That game's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's just bad. That's just bad design. Okay. Ninja Gaiden 3 was just, it was just lazy. Very. I don't know what happened, man. Um, they're also going to have... I don't know. I think it would have been a much bigger press conference. You remember in 2003, uh, what they did for the, their press conference was at the end they threw in a Twilight Princess logo, Yeah, and everyone lost their shit. Right. If they had just thrown in like a Legend of Zelda logo, everyone would wrap it up, you did good. Yeah. But they didn't. They, they didn't, didn't mention any first party like support. snore, pretty much. All the but way for a company that thrives on its first party support, they did good for what they had. Which is not, that's, that's a dying creative model. Oh yeah. 
Like, that's going to last... That la- that did good in GameCube. That's it. Like, it's not... That did good on GameCube. Yeah. Uh, Mar- Mario 3D Land? Not selling that much. I l- it's a great game, though. Yeah. It's a fantastic game. Did you have it? Yeah, I do. Nice. It's a that's fantastic cool. game, but it's... There's no real longevity to it. I mean, Mario is the Mario. Style. We'll love Mario for the nostalgia and the charm of Mario, but as a character, he's going to die. Yeah, probably. He will. He has no depth it'll at take, all. It'll take five years, ten years, fifty years, he's going to die. Naturally. Naturally. I think that I think on the I think on the Wii U, they're going to do something really cool, I think, involving... Uh, not Zelda, actually. They're just going to throw an inventory screen on there. You know. Yeah. They're just going to do the... Oh, hey, look. Yeah. Like a little map. That's it. Through that. that there's yeah. no map. But I think they're going to do cool shit with uh, Metroid. Like, if they did, a, like, a Pokemon Stadium... I would buy the... that. Select your Pokemon, your moves. Yeah. You know, with the with the tablet. I think, yeah, it'll just... I think it'll be good. That would be fantastic. Dude. And they're going to... The Pikmin 3? That's going to look good, good on, yeah. That's going to look good on the, on the Wii U. I feel like... On the tablet that itself. That would make a good... Uh, even though RTS is... Like a four-letter word on anything but a PC, really. I feel like it wouldn't be too bad of a platform for an RTS. Not at all. Not at all. Um, they tried a game. They tried a uh, what was it called? You had a microphone. It was a pinball RTS on GameCube. It was actually pretty big. I forgot the name of it though. I don't, I don't remember. I'm sure, someone knows it. Yeah. It was pretty pretty big. And it was made by. It was a first party. But yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's the way you, you know, okay. they're behind as usual, yeah. but give it a year. They're going to change their lives. You know? get, yeah. It's seriously going to be amazing a year after it comes out. Okay. All right. I'm next. Let's do. So that's the, that's the press conference. That's the press conference. None. We're good. I wouldn't say, I, I would say this was a lull this year. As far as this was press a, conferences go. This what happened very after the press conferences? Title based year. Was. Solid. So it was definitely a title-based year. Solid. Whoever had that, whoever had the exclusives won. Yeah. Won. And I actually, I think, in the end, I think Sony won. Okay. Yeah. I can, I can give yeah. that. Let's go ahead and jump into uh, Last of Us. Okay. So that looks awesome. <laughs> Let's see. It's, uh, it's a Naughty Dog's upcoming uh, post-apocalyptic third-person third person shooter. shooter. And uh, I gotta say, it looks gorgeous for Are being... Unbelievable. Like, I have a... Uh, uh, I am alive, the Xbox Live Arcade game. I love that. It is aggravating to no end. I am alive. Is that the one where everything's kind of everything's gray? Okay. Every single thing is gray. You climb on a you climb, climb on you shit. Climb, yeah. And there's like a meter. You have a stamina meter, and then you have a health meter. Gotcha. It is so hard. Is it really that hard? It is so hard. Oh my god. Because I played um, the demo and it was. Yeah, the demo is fine. The, I mean, couldn't you just survive if you just like stay away from the people that are like, yeah, hey, but get you out have, of my property? You have objectives, though, that you have to do. Oh, no. And carrying out said objectives can be pretty difficult because uh, I'm at one point where I have to... I'm on the side of a building, mm-hmm. uh, the side of which is caved in, and so I'm kind of climbing. And so, uh, contextually, you're not really sure where you can go or what you can do until your stamina is so low that you figured it out, and then you die. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah. That's, they don't highlight the... No, nothing's parkour highlighted. Parkour. It's annoying. it's just everything's That's the annoying. same. Like you know, uh, for context clues, there might be something really shiny, like in Resident Evil, something you can interact with. So it's not like Assassin's Creed. We can just oh anything. my god, don't forget. We can do Assassin's Creed. Oh my god. Uh, but I want to get back to Last of Last Us. Last of Us. Okay. It's gorgeous. It has I know storyline. I know Naughty Dog could not put out anything that does not look absolutely beautiful. No. Since I think Crash it, I, Bandicoot. I think what makes Naughty Dog a I guess visually, how they make the visually striking games? It's their attention to detail. Okay. Okay. Um, another game that's like that, uh, the new Max Payne. They do a very similar thing that Naughty Dog does. They just layer every single part of the environment with an amazing level of detail. Okay. That's how they do it. That's the cool. storyline looks. The storyline looks great. And um, you you play as a a guy. I'm not sure what his name is. I forgot his name either. And then you play as Ellen Page. Yeah. So Which I can. It's fine with me. Hey, that's cool. Um. Their relationship is rock. It's not really set what it is, really. Yeah. Apparently, she's the friend of... She's the daughter of his friend, and he told her... He told his friend that he would protect her. Yeah. And uh, he has a laundry list of defects. As a character? As a character himself, yeah. He, uh, he's... 
very unstable. He's in the black market, a lot side of uh, what everything you know for the apocalypse itself. So that's why uh, he's handling his shit pretty well. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. he, that's how automatically he knows how to use a gun. Also, that game. <laughs> um, the cool parts of that game is there. You saw both demos. I saw one. There's two. Okay, I only saw one. There's one, and then there, like, okay, you know, like when he goes up the. Uh, which one did you see? When he went up the into the apartment building? Yeah, he's going into the apartment. He's, like, sneaking, sneaking Did he go behind him and, like, choke him out? Yep. There's another one where he completely avoids all that. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Wow, okay. You can completely skip that entire part. That's cool. If you don't want to fight, you don't fight. It's a survival third-person shooter. Right, okay. It's 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 impressive. And there's a lot of little stuff, too. Um, there's this, like, poster that you can in, in, in investigate with... Uh, I'm just going to call her Ellen. I think it's Ellie. Isn't it Ellie? No. That's hilarious. If it is, is it though? Maybe. I'm gonna have to look that up. Uh, and then it, it, they talk about like a movie that was popular, and he was like, "It's yeah, it was stupid anyway." So it means he saw it. It's a chick flick. Yeah. So I'm thinking there's some sort of like there's probably major major tragedy involving that guy. Yeah. So major it's gonna tragedy. be interesting, you know, seeing what happened, how how the world got to that state, but then also what happens between the two of them as as characters. Yeah, you have to deal with you have to deal with the pillagers and the survivors. Yeah. And then you have to deal with that mushroom-based... Zombie thing? Viral thing. Which actually is a real thing. Yeah. I heard about that, too. I was on top of that shit, too. On, a, on G4 today, they said that is a real problem that can happen. There's That's a, just an advanced case of it. Yeah. There's a fun guy out there that uh, in, that you, that can infect a pig, and if we eat that pig, we get it. I heard that it's the fungus that starts with an ant. Is it an ant? And the ant will climb up onto the tallest blade of grass that it can... So it that will be eaten by a cow or a pig, uh-huh. and thus infects. You know what the, the largest. You know what species. the fungi does to a human, technically. What would it that controls do? the human, forces it to kill itself, reanimates. That's so crazy. Fungi erupt. Think Resident Evil Four. It's the Pogas. exact same thing. This is Las Pagas. You know what, people? We're dead. When we're dead, the zombies start coming and people are eating each other's eyeballs. Mm-hmm. Don't cry to us. Also, don't go to the gym. Because we warned you, don't go to hospitals, don't go to the gym. Big zombies. Um, <laughs> big zombies. What? That's, that's true. You that's go to a gym, you you're going to get buff zombies. What that's, are you doing? That's the last thing you need. You go to Walmart. All right, so let's... Out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> and food. Exactly. Exactly. I was, um, I personally was going to go to Cabela's, an, oh out, God. an outdoor outfitter. I'm going to go next to a pawn shop, watch everyone kill themselves, and then go in. Okay. That works. <laughs> that works. So... All right, so anything else on Last of Us? I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how. Did you notice that the gunplay was exactly like in Uncharted? Yep, I did. which is great. I don't feel anything don't feel about, about that, that really. I don't feel bad about that. Which is fine because they they could have uh, tried something new, but it would have been pointless because Uncharted was fine. Are you gonna play that game like a first person shooter, or are you gonna like do it as if it was you? Because that's how I'm, that's how I plan on playing it. As a first person shooter? No, like as if it was me. I was gonna do like it. if I see a situation and yeah. I don't want to deal with it, I'm gonna try sneaking around. Yeah. If I, oh god. Yeah, I can't. Um, remember. what did he kill him with at the very end, right before it cut off? Shotgun to the shotgun to the face. Yeah, making a bloody mess. And then and yeah, it wasn't as gory as I would. In the other tech demo, be? they start off there. They start off with a shotgun to the face. Well, they continue it. Like you avoid that part, and then you end up in that room. Okay. And then he shotguns him shotgun the himself, and then he puts it on his back. And then they actually do more. Am I going to look that up? I will. I will. There's more to that tech I'll look that up when we get done. Okay. But yeah, Last of Us, great. Can't wait. Yeah, it's, it looks, looks gorgeous. Could, it looks be the, could, be the, could be the new zombie game. I can't wait to see how it, the event changes them as characters, as people. Yeah, they're going to grow. Because there's going to be a, a human psychological aspect to that. The, definitely. That I wonder you're, how that they're going to You're taking someone out. that's middle-aged, and then a girl... And then a teenage girl. She's you know, gonna become his daughter. A little bit younger than us. She's gonna get, he's gonna get like a d- daughter developed feelings for her. Probably. Okay. So, all right. What's next? Tomb Raider's next. That's interesting. That's a really interesting take on that. Um, what they're making Tomb Raider vulnerable now, and a teenager. Guess, she got. Did you? You saw that demo, right? Yeah, she's twenty-one now. She got the shit beat out of her, and on by multiple things, not just people, <laughs> but like that environment kicked her ass. And then she stood up in the end of it. She's a little unreasonably powerful. That, that, if that was me, I'd have just laid there and be like, I can die here, that's fine. Yeah, she went down a waterfall. I'd be done. Ridiculous. Um, out of ever, that, I can honestly say that game has the best attention to detail I've ever seen in a video game. Everything. I feel I like... Know, I don't know how they did that, to be honest with you. This is going to help 
uh, develop a character as well, this game will. Yeah. Because in the past, Tomb Raider, she's always just been a badass that can do anything ever. Pretty much. And this one, she's a human being. She was basically being. Sam Fisher. Yeah. So. And this one, she's a human being. Yeah. Like you're she's gonna, young. You're going to she's crying? relate to her. Yeah. I think that's what I think that's what their goal is. Yeah. Next Tomb Raider is to make to make her vulnerable, to make her weak, and then develop her in Tomb Raider Two. Right. Into someone. Have you seen the girl that they based her off of? No. She's cute. Really? Yeah, she's cute. Huh. Anyway, I, I, I don't know. Tangent. Um. What else do we want to talk about? Um. Not enough to go on. There's on not. Tomb Raider. Really that's not. kind of it. You know. It's a new take on the character. I like Amazing it. gameplay, but that's... You know. This is where she's going to develop her skills as the Tomb Raider and not so much... Uh, Very. I'm not sure you know, how the game's portrayed it, if at all, but it's not going to be like her parents were filthy rich and had her do all this physical oh, okay. activity or anything like that. No, she's probably just a teenager. She's going to get the shit beat out of her. Yeah. And then she's going to learn... You're going to see some violent ass. things from yeah. the main boss, I bet you. Yeah. yeah. Beat her down. He's going to beat her down. Um, yeah. You Very hungry to, games. Uh, indie games? Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to... Whoever's listening, uh, the Indie Game Bundle 5 is out. Um, it's one of the, it's, an indie, it's an indie game bundle where you can get five games to your PC um, to support indie the developers. lower-end developers. Mm -hmm. You can, can you put a cent down, or you can put 300 grand. I, myself, I put 10 bucks. Yeah, that's good. That's not bad. You know? I know a guy that puts down a penny. Right. You yeah. The, everybody games. knows that guy that puts down. And I, I tell him, I'm like, why don't you just pirate it at that point? Like, you're kind of <laughs> insulting it here. It's kind of a slap in the face. It at is. That point. They yeah. they raise a lot of money to them though. But that's that's good. Because Can you tell the, us what games are on that. No, okay. I, I I can't remember off the top of my head. Right. I know um, Bastion. Oh man, I love yeah, Bastion. Yeah, you can get that for free. I love it's Bastion. Wonderful. That's awesome. Uh, I know Bastion's on there. Um. I, I just can't remember the other four. That's fine. That's fine. They're kind of obscure. Bastion. Well, that's they all, that's they how indie have, titles. They always have that. one like good game. Right. Uh, they had Braid in the indie game bundle too. Um, then they had. Uh, I heard Braid was fantastic. Braid is great. And there's so many levels of. Uh, oh yeah. It's it's like it's basically a dark Mario. If you ever play, it's a side scroller. Okay. We have to save a princess. Okay. But dark. Apparently she's like dying. Wow. Of a sickness. Anyway. But yeah. Uh, just Google Humble Indie Game Bundle. Okay. It's fun. Um, that sounds like a, like a good deal. Mm -hmm. All the money goes to uh, Child's Play. Or the money that they don't give to the developers. Yeah. The developers the, are eventually like, okay, that's enough. Then charity. they give the rest of the charity. Okay. Yeah. It's awesome. That's very cool. It's just such a good program. That's how you can support art and humanity. I know. It's, it's wonderful. Your money can go a long way towards that. And you get five games for free, too. Yeah. It's, I, I, think it's, I think that's how everyone should just raise money if they ever need anything. Give the shit away. <laughs> people, yeah. people will give me money eventually. What's next? Uh, next we can go either uh, DC Marvel movies or iOS. What's your call on that one? The iOS, I'm, I'm, I'll go with the iOS 6. Um, they're going to have a lot of interesting things on that. They're killing Mobile Me. Do you know that? Can you tell me? I'm completely dead. I don't know what Mobile Me is exactly. No one does. It was, that's a, I was, it was gonna a say, failed. I was going to say, talk to me as someone that knows nothing about Apple because that's pretty much who you're talking to. Okay. Um, what is going to be, what's so good about iOS 6 that, to make me care that the difference between what my iPhone has on well, it? Well, that's now. the thing, actually. That's the thing. Uh, anyone who follows Apple knows that there's really not going to be that much of a difference between iOS 5 and 6. Okay. Um, pretty, everything is going to be supported with some sort of newer high definition visual. Um, they're putting a major focus on cloud based memory, of course. Is. Okay. That's going to be like Skynet. A, Skynet, we're yeah. dead. Uh, two hundred different, uh, two hundred different. Th th that's this is one of their bullet points. Is two hundred different tweaks, uh, new EQs or something like that. They're going to update a few things that they haven't updated in years. Okay. Okay. I think they're also going to be throwing in, um, and this I think this is a rumor, but I think they're going to be throwing in Wi-Fi tether, out of box. Okay. Which is interesting. That's something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, I used to have Wi-Fi tethering on my like Android phone, and it, it was terrible. Probably, yeah, I hated tethering. So phones. anything Apple does officially that we don't have to jailbreak for is we don't have to jailbreak for anymore because Apple makes it so good. Yeah. Um. I mean, I, it, it's from what I've seen so far, uh, simple OS. Um, you're also going to be able to, but yeah, um, that's, that was actually my point about the iOS six is that it's actually not that different, but it's going to just increase the. Uh, 
I guess it's going to increase the usability. Um, live wallpapers. Okay, that's very cool. That's cool. I I'm can glad they're doing that. that. The iPhone 5 is going to be able to support it, too. I can get into that, yeah, for sure. Definitely. They're basically finally catching up with Android. I don't, I you know? don't really know what to say about Android. I had a, an Evo for a year. and You didn't like it? What do you use now? First eight months. I just got uh, the 4 from, okay. from Apple. Gotcha. And so far, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Well, anyway, um, also I want to touch up on the uh, brand new MacBook that came out. Which I think is a hilarious joke. Really? Yeah. Explain. Uh, retina display. That's it. That's yeah. That's that's it. That's also the updates come in increments that are also to me slaps in the face. Exactly. It's like, hey, you're loyal they enough up, to buy this last they thing. They update we got. the smallest shit and sell it. Yeah. Retina display is great. It's making them billions. And it's making them billions. Yeah. Now, uh, so fuck the MacBook. Did you see? The new, um, the new Microsoft tablet Surface. How great does that look? Uh, I'm I'm buying one. I, I it looks cool, but at the same time, it's running on Windows 8. I have a laptop. I know. think. True. I did hear from. Uh, I I follow a different podcasts the this week in tech and such and such, that it's a terrible OS. Really? I heard that it's not. It looks so great. Um, oh. I, I heard that it's not what you'd want it to be because it comes in two different versions, right? Uh, making it two different price points. Oh. And the, the lower the version, stuff. obviously, is just going to be, I heard it's just god-awful. And the second one is, is functional, it's doable, but it wasn't where these particular group of guys wanted it. And so that's really all I know about it. But That's a shame. Did you, uh, they also came out with uh, OS... Eight on Windows. Okay. You know what they changed on that? What is that? The size of the tiles. Yeah, you can change the size of that's, the tiles. That's now. a deserving silence right there. <laughs> so check it out. I mean, that's it. The surfix, surface. <laughs> excuse me, surface. Uh -huh. Um. I don't. What? That's. I mean, it, it looks cool. Yeah, I'll give they, that. They actually cheated a little bit. They actually used um, live updating tiles as a pro as a point, which but they've already done that in OS seven. They're just putting it. Uh, they're just recycling points. I I've, I literally watched that three minute video of OS eight, and all they've updated was the size of the tiles. Yeah. You can now pinch them and make them smaller, or you can make them bigger. That's dumb. I can OS do that eight on my Nook. I can do that on my yeah. tablet right now. It's so sad. Yeah. And they even said, they're like, no other phone can do anything like this. And I was like, wow. Who gives a huge shit? I don't really care. Yeah. And it looks so ugly. Uh, I think it was. Because you have, like, tiles mixed yeah. with, like, the pictures, and then you got, like, different colored tiles. Because if you have, like, a blue theme with Microsoft's green Xbox, it looks, it looks like a weird, like, Picasso. Really? I don't know. I just, I don't, I hate OS on The phones. keyboard, I don't, if the keyboard functioned well... If it was really responsive, that would justify having a keyboard on a tablet to me. But if I'm sitting there with a cool looking keyboard and I have to jam on it, mm. then that, gotcha. that the keyboard looked it. a little flimsy. I'm not gonna lie though. Yeah, it does. It looks. It really it does. Thin. It kind of looks like one of those. I think they're trying to to uh, make it double as it a uh, screen protector when you're not using it. Mm -hmm. Is that true? It just like flips out. Yeah, probably. But that's not really. Yeah, I mean, that's not really a big price point on that. So it's cute. All right. So that's about it. Let's go to uh, DC slash Marvel movies. Okay. Um, I know major things about huge, that. Huge, huge Batman fan. Yeah. I know you are. Massive right now. So just go off. Well, uh, right now I'm actually reading the Owls crossover. Have you been reading it? I have not. It's pretty cool. They take they put they put the Bat family in the most dire of situations. So this is a novel. I'm not familiar with this. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a comic. comic. It's a comic series. Okay. I think there's about ten comics for each character. Okay. Um, it's 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 brutal because the owls are trying oh, to. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I they're trying to assassinate. With, it was with the the new Fifty Two. Yep. Okay. That's they're, right. They're trying to assassinate important members of Gotham, political. Okay. Educational, and they're a lot. Each of them is a lot stronger than the anyone in the Bat Family. Wow. Even that's like, Bruce because Wayne. it's like a it's like a lineage thing. Yeah, the head of the owls can destroy Bruce Wayne in a fist fight at any point. Wow, I remember, it's I remember, it's a tough fight for each of them. Night Owl gets fucked up. Where I left off, uh, Night Owl, Nightwing. In that, 
I love Nightwing too, by the way. Oh yeah. Um, where I left off in that series was uh, Batman had just found uh, the 13th floor in one of the buildings and saw it was like an owl's lair. And that's the last one I, I read. Uh, he does escape, but after that, at the very end, he is without his armor or anything. Yeah. He's on top of Wayne Manor fighting all of them. Wow. Gotta read that part. He's getting boned then. No. No? No. Okay. He, yeah, I'll have to get he, into he's it. He's all that's left, dude. I'll have to get back into Cat it. Catwoman. I was a big fan Robin, of... Robin. Uh, they're all, like, done. The new know? Teen Titans. The new 52. They're not, that's not bad. I haven't really... I, I think I've seen... I like that one. I've seen a couple points. Anyway, okay. let's get back into... The so, um, I feel like if I start with this, I won't be able to stop. So I'm going to start and stop and say The Dark Knight Rises is going to beat Avengers. I think. Okay. I think it's going to sell a little more. Okay. Avengers was What do you great. think that goes to? What do you think they can... Uh, uh, can not contribute. What, what's the word I'm looking for? What do you think that, they can, that you can associate that to? What's going to make that sell more money? It's going to be like Citizen Kane. It's going to be a Citizen Kane of our time. So just... They think Avengers is good. Avengers was entertaining. I loved Avengers. And it was I amazing. saw not one wrong... Such a good not, movie. There's nothing wrong, wrong with it at all. Yeah. Uh, but a Dark Knight Rises is going to. It's going to change. It's not going to kill it in any way. Universe, if it beats it, it's going to be by barely. But it's just going to introduce movies to us in a new superhero movies to us in a new concept. How do you feel about that being the last of the Dark Knight? Good, good. I, I think they. I think they. I think that sometimes less is more. Yeah, you know? I think. I think a trilogy is the. Uh, I think they the did apex it. of a story. For I me. think they did it perfectly. You know, they. They got a lot of good Batman parts in it. Has he, he's been out of... Uh, Batman's been out of commission like eight years? Eight years. Since, uh, Since Dark Knight? Dark Knight, yeah. Wow. So it's going to be a very interesting story. Yeah, what we're going to pick up on Gotham is going to be pretty interesting. I God, who knows? I, like, we're just who knows, here, I can't who knows what Gotham's going to look like at that point? But I will say this. Um, Tom Hardy is Bane. I think they made a good choice on that. Also, I think that uh, the reason that this movie is going to be so entertaining is that, uh, well, in Avengers, the heroes were pretty powerful. Yeah. You know, I mean, there was one part in the battle where they were kind of losing, but no. Not really. Not, not really. That's what's going to be do- so good about Dark Knight. It's going to have such a hopelessness to it. Because and, he's, like, in and, the end, going to scrape himself off of the sidewalk. Basically. Get yeah. back up and save the day somehow. Yeah. His back's broken. His resolve is almost broken. I can't. I Everyone know. hates him. Yeah, they hate everything that has anything to do. It's with gonna Wayne. be a. It's gonna be like a trial of pure human soul. Does that? Okay. It picks up everything. No. Okay. My bad. Sorry about that. Um. Yeah. That's gonna be. I can't wait. Amazing. I honestly can't wait. I've always been a bigger Marvel guy than DC, but I can't wait for this. I've always been slightly bigger on DC ever since Blackest Night came out. The new, uh, new Catwoman. Selena Kyle. What do you think about... What was her name? That, who's playing her? I forgot. I forgot, too. Oh, my God. It's going to kill me. I'm going to get <laughs> slapped in the face by so many people. I don't really that. remember either. But, um... Thank you. Good I think choice. It cool. It's all believable, and I'm glad that they didn't go She with is it. that... To that movie, what Scarlett Johansson is to the Avengers. Hot. She adds... She adds a Good act. darkness to it. She does. She... I, I, think I think she... Good. I think as an actress, she has a darkness about herself. So, so that's I think, cool. I think I'm glad they didn't do the an over beefy Bane with the tubes. That's true. That's and the true. Serum. They got I, rid of the Venom feature. I think that he's more Venom. personable. Yeah, and that's what that's what Nolan tries going after is a very realistic story. Yeah. Um, speaking of comic book uh, stuff, I, I I don't really know how they're going to do DC as a series or as a uh, brand itself, movie wise. Because once Christian bails out of Dark Knight, he can't it's be what's gonna happen in Justice you know? League. I don't know what they're going to do. Yeah, That's going to be a really strange like, time I, to see who's going to be playing Batman in the Justice who League Who wants movie. to follow you know, Christian Bale know. as Batman? Who no is one. going to have? Who's going to have the balls to follow God. that performance? I, don't, I can't even it's, imagine. I think we're just going to have to chalk it up to it being not as good, no matter what happens. Also, they're doing a Flash movie, a Wonder Woman movie. I can dig Flash. Me too. I think that's going to be really cool. Uh, and uh, of course, Superman reboot. So if they get all three of those right, I think we're good for a Justice League movie. I liked the Superman they did. Was about two thousand six. They had a new Superman movie, and it was still made to look like old time Superman Returns. That's right. Okay. I liked the guy that played that. Yeah. He was also Todd and Scott Pilgrim. 
Todd. The third X. The vegan. Oh, it was him? Yeah. It's the same guy. Isn't, and he was also Dylan strange, Dog. Isn't that a weird pattern? Yeah. That the uh, Todd, Evil X number three, played Superman. But of course... It was Dylan Dog as well. Dylan Dog, really? Yeah. But Chris Evans was X number two and played Captain America. That's and, weird. That is strange. I don't know how that happens. But I, I love... I loved him as Superman. I'd like to see him come back. That'd be nice. But they had some weird looking like Italian guy. No. I don't know. I feel like a This looks weird. I think they need to do what Marvel did with the the Avengers movie and plan that way ahead. They need to not rush the Justice League at all. They because they they planned Avengers, Avengers took years upon years. Yeah, they planned Avengers since Iron Man one. At the very since, end when he was since like we were in high school. We're at the same age, aren't we? What how old are you? Alright, I'm 21. I figured you were. I'm about to turn 21. Okay, yeah. So a little younger. Pretty much the same so age. Pretty close. So when we were in high school, this is when the Avengers yeah, was that's planned. When, pretty much. At the end of Iron Man 1. Okay. And he talked about the Avengers initiative. Oh my god. Yeah, everyone That moment was awesome. Freaked out. That moment was really cool. And then you spent five years waiting. Yeah. And <laughs> it they was did worth it. it. I'd say it was worth it. It was worth it. It was, it was worth really it. I think that I think, I think while Marvel is dying, hopefully, and come on. Or while they're doing their thing. Oh, and they're die. In the early, no, they're never going to die. They're going to die eventually. Not when they're funded by Disney. I don't think they're going to die. <laughs> in the early 2010 through 15, yeah. 16, I think that'd be a good time for DC to start get, picking up their speed a little bit. Yeah. You know? So that when see. you and I are like 30, we can start watching DC movies. Right. And it'd be the exact same effect. I think if that turns out good, then that'll be fun. That'll yeah. be fun. Also, the new Spider-Man is going to be great. It's going to be so fantastic. Oh my god, are you going to watch it in 3D or... I'm going to go to both, actually. Okay. I will do both because I'm a firm believer in in 3D not really making a big difference on the it, cinematic it really, experience. It really doesn't make a big difference. So I'm going to see. I just want to see the differences. Okay. And Emma Stone in 3D. I was going to complain about that. I cannot. I, no. I don't have a problem with that. Not at all. At all. Uh, the game actually looks good, too. Yeah. That looks fun. Stanley is a, is a reserve bonus. Pre-order bonus, so you get to play as a, a that's, full model. Stand. That's awkward. I think mean, it's fantastic. You know he made, like, nothing off of the Avengers? Did you know that? No, I didn't. He made nothing. That's terrible. Yeah. Also, the guy that uh, invented Thanos in the comics bought his own ticket for the Avengers. How sad. That was terrible. I know. But yeah, the game looks good for Spider-Man. Yeah. So does the movie. I, I think, like uh, I think that'll be good. I think that'll be a great filler. b is doing well, I think, with Spider-Man. Yeah. So. I know b is doing that. Yeah, they they have the the license for any Spider Man game from now on. Really? really? Yeah. Treyarch used to have it, right? Treyarch had it back when Spider Man Two was you out. and I were playing. Right. And there's like Web of Shadows and all this stuff. Beanox has been on top of the only but good recent Spider Man movie was they're, uh, they're on it. Was um, Shattered Dimensions? The game. Yeah. yeah. Edge of Time was not that good. Dimensions was with like noir and yeah. If you ever get a chance, uh, you should play that. Comics amazing. Noir that comics. was awesome. When you play as um, when you play as dark suit, yeah, black suit Spider Man against Carnage. Yeah, that happens. Carnage so much. Anyway, what's so, next? Next we have uh, Injustice All Wrong Comics. And while there's really nothing to say about that because there's only a trailer out, um, I'd get it. I'd get it on PS3. Yeah. I would I, definitely I, it, that. Actually, I think there's talks of it being a PS3 exclusive because it's not, um, it's not DC art, right? It's their own renditions of the DC characters, mm-hmm. which and is very cool. The unfortunate part is it's rated teen. It's the only bad part. Isn't Marvel vs. Capcom rated teen? True, but here's the thing: Marvel, Marvel vs. Capcom goes for like a goofy look. It kind of goes for like a goofy theme about it. Yeah, Injustice looks dark and serious. Yeah, very dark and serious. Apparently, Batman and Wonder Woman, they're all bad people now or something. I don't know. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with it, though. I, I can't, I, you know what? I just hope it's a good fighting game. I think I hope it has good mechanics, too. Yeah. Because they kind of failed with um, the DC versus Mortal Kombat. Yeah. That wasn't very good. Yeah. That didn't, that, that that didn't, didn't hold reviews at all. So hopefully this does good. Yeah. I think it should, I think it should sell just based off the costumes alone. Right. Did you see, did you see, uh, Flash's costume? I saw Flash. It looked amazing. That looks good. And he like ran around the planet and then punched you in the face. Unbelievable. And Superman took Flash into the above above the above the planet and shot him into. I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be. I mean, they have the potential with this idea to. to they they do they do. It I, could, I also wouldn't mind it to be mature either. It could, in theory, set off. If it's a good enough game, it could set off. A, a DC. DC a DC fighting Snowball. series, yeah. Well, no, DC in general. DC's oh, really? doing really good with their new 52. 
they're actually almost out. I loved them. Really, the only reason I stopped is because I cannot afford it anymore. I was following yeah. uh, six series, and wow. that's 30 bucks a month. Yeah. So it it's got a little pricey. Part. Yeah. But um, they were actually beating Marvel in its comic sales until the Avengers came yeah, out. Yeah, I can't. Once I the Avengers hype dies a little bit, they'll be back on top in the comics world. That game comes out, and then they, they start Whoosh, you know, revealing... More sales, the game, the movie, you they know. They start revealing information. Right. And they're snowballing off of The Dark Knight Rises, and they're... They got Injustice and yeah. 52, and all of a sudden we got this DC snowball effect, and oh my god, what's happening in DC? I yeah, like DC it's now. It's huge, yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. So, that's comics and movies. Alright, and uh, I think that's about it. I think that's all we had. Was it really? Yeah. Are you sure? We already got the leak. We already no got way. PlayStation Vita. Oh. Uh, Anything else you wanted to cover? God of War Ascension. Alright. I said God of War because the... I just recently got a PS3. So, sell me God of War right now. God of War as a series? As Ascension, as anything. Oh my god, you have to. Alright, first of all, if you have any sort of passion about Greek mythology or anything violent, you have to get God right, of War. got me there. It, it's I, it, I, it, it's it, just an epic. It's just an epic. If you you, Alright, here, I'll put it to you this way. God of War 3 is something that's been out for a while that people have had time to envelop and play. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't played that game on your PS3, you need to do that immediately. It is the the stuff in that game that you were able to do in comparison to other games is epic in scale that cannot be beaten yet. You're on top of a titan that is the size of, I'd say, New York, and the confrontations against Hades, against Zeus, mountain breaking stuff, man. I'm just tired of let's say the formula of uh, hack and slash peons gain abilities, uh, fight a boss until point X, wherein Quick time action, you defeat him, repeat. That, God of War functions a little differently. There, there's actually not, thankfully, there's not that much peon fighting. Okay. It's a lot of major stuff. A okay. lot of major cinematic stuff and um, platforming. and The boss battles are really what sell that game. Because I left off on two. Oh, well, you haven't played three? And no, I haven't even touched three. You need to get three. Okay. Oh my god. I'll work on that. You should give that a try. That game's cheap now. I think you can get it for nine ninety nine on Amazon. Okay. And, uh... It's it's just epic in scale. There's I can't really think of a game that matches the scale of that game. You just feel like holy shit, I'm actually doing this right now. You are you do incredibly amazing things. You you tear apart gods. I mean, I I'm being literal. Okay. You tear apart you gods. You tear them apart. <laughs> uh, okay. I can get with that. Yeah, and there's this one amazing first person scene where you see Kratos' arms and he's like you have to poke out the Sun God's eyes. Eyes of Helios? A little much for me. And then Apollo, right? Apollo. Not Helios. You you race Helios and then you tear off his leg. <laughs> wow. Yep. That's awesome. That's actually what happens. You That's tear awesome. off his legs and take his shoes. Alright, I'll I'll check this out. And at the very end, when you're fighting Zeus, two D fighting him. No, it's not. Yeah. You fight Zeus and it, there's multiple so levels like, to the boss like battle. Street Fighter exactly like fights. It. Yeah. Oh well, they don't do the God. fight thing. Well, it's in that context. But, it's yeah, it's reference. 2D fighting. That's very cool. Grabs, you, can, you can grab and throw against the wall and do combos. That's very cool. I don't know why they... It was, it was awesome. All right, I'll check it out. Just sure. the fact that you can rip off Helios' legs. Literally pff, rip them off with the power of... Kratos. And, oh my God. All so. right, so let's get into... I know you wanted to talk about Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed, but before I do that, uh, on Ascension, though, yeah. the main thing about that, I don't really care about the storyline or the first or the single player at all, because yeah. it looks exactly the same. It's a prequel. It's a prequel, okay. It's Judgment, Gears of War. It's the same thing. But the uh, um, multiplayer looks really good. Really? Yeah, the multiplayer actually looks really fun. So you're fighting each other? It's you PvP. fight each other, or you can team up, and you can fight, like, giant Olympus uh, Titans. Okay. And if you look at the multiplayer, it actually looks fluid and smooth. You know, it doesn't. It doesn't look all multiplayer. Mess up, yeah. It looks smooth and. So how many players are you are you getting on screen? I think sixteen. Wow. I think sixteen That's, or eight. One of those. That could be. It was an interesting. God of War multiplayer edition. Who yeah. would have ever thought? That sounds. It sounds about as good as Ninja Gaiden multiplayer to me. Not good. It does not sound good, but. Really. I can I can visualize it, and it's a little bit better. Just, uh, I, I'd say if you have, ever have the chance and you're looking up Ascension... Yeah, I can check it out. I would, I would, I would definitely... I'll, I'll maybe throw a few gameplay videos in with this. Definitely. Oh yeah, I forgot you're doing that. That's going to be great. 
Assassin's Creed Three though. So I pre-ordered that like eight months ago. Oh yeah, I saw I saw that on Facebook. You had that that, that box. was a while ago too. Yeah, that was a while ago. I I don't really I can't really start talking about Assassin's Creed because I'll never leave. I was just uh, but, sold on that in the last Wilderness trailer. Yeah, that got me. So yeah. I'll play it. Yeah, I mean I was sold the minute they said Assassin's Creed Three, <laughs> but uh, the combat looks really cool. The duel. Oh, I'm sorry. The yeah, duel, the duel. Uh, the duel fighting. Uh, when he first he like hangs a guy. Yeah. Jumps down, but the counters are amazing in that game. I'm not. I'm not sure if you know. Like this guy's about to swing a bayonet, and he just blocks yeah. it with his axe from behind, yeah. catches it in the middle of the axe, swings it, and hits and him. The, the firing squad. Yeah. The and there's line. a CG trailer that is pure art. Really. Yeah. It shows Connor starting from a camp and being by himself against the entire British army. Wow. And at the end. When he shoots a bow, yeah. at uh, it's a Templar. Right. He like takes away his shirt and you see like the cross. But uh, when he shoots it, and it make, when it makes contact with the enemy uh, commander, right. the Templar guy, you can t- you could literally thank you. I don't know how Ubisoft does this, but you could take the still image and frame it. Really. It shows the commander falling off his horse, and it looks almost reminiscent of the famous Napoleon painting. Yeah. That one. I'll have you to, can frame it. I'll definitely have to check it out. You can frame it. I downloaded that. I love that trailer so much. I downloaded it in 1080p on my PS3, and I just keep it on loop. <laughs> it's just so gorgeous. Put it on the new, uh, the new iPhone 5. Yeah. Active download. Yeah. Or active uh, background. That would kill your RAM. That would so destroy your RAM. <laughs> you could do that in theory, but you know when you swipe, it'll take like a minute. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I have that game pre-ordered, and I can't wait. October 30th, All if right. I'm not mistaken. I'm going to check it out, too. Uh, man, I just, I don't know. I mean, I was so heavily invested in the Assassin's Creed universe. Yeah, I think I think if we get too into it, we won't leave either. For, yeah, for different I mean, reasons, you're a huge fanboy, and I've... Nah. You don't like Assassin's Creed? Nah, I just, uh, I felt it got watered down. I feel like they should have pulled the releases apart a little bit. That's true. Uh, you're actually kind of right. Uh, if I wasn't such a big fan of it, I wouldn't really have cared for, like, uh... Revelations? Yeah. Well, that was a good game. At the end. Yeah. That, that game was actually only good at the end when it showed Altair dying. Oh, he dies? Yeah. I still, I still loved him. It, it, well, I mean, obviously he That died, was actually the only game that gave him personality. I loved... One was the first one I played, and that's why I stopped. Gotcha. So, of course, I'm going to associate more with Altair than Ezio. Okay. Than well, you remember, in Altair, remember in Assassin's Creed 1, Altair didn't even have a voice. Really. He didn't really have much of a personality. Yeah. In Revelations, um, it shows his life. What happened after he got exiled, and then it gave him a bad guy that he had to kill. His shit happened with his wife and kids, and then he became really old, and he controlled all the assassins. Uh, it was really cool. Okay. So. All right, well, we're going to have to stop, or we're going to be here all night. Pretty much. All right, so I'm Sherry Quintero. I'm Elder. And this has been the first Rumble Pack interview. See you guys later.